Kim. Acceptable at the moment of flight, but the lifting and lightness of what remained was clear. The words came effortlessly, like a thin stream of water from a faucet not fully tightened, grateful for the opening to escape the confines of a tangled mess of directionless pathways. Sensing the cold on my skin as we spoke, now free from what had been to just be for him as me. Easing in and out of dark corners on light nothingness in the same gliding way, not good or bad, just as it could be and as it should be before getting lost in the knots and tangles of mind. Only yesterday I tried force, pushing, blocking, hoping that it wouldn't move. Yet here on this night, lives flickering behind warm yellow windows, gentle breezes through naked wintry trees something edged its way gently through the darkness and lit up for a moment that which longs to last a lifetime and we're free seems clearer, which does not presume better or dazzling, but rather crisper along the edges, cutting lines through the haze and glare, leaving illuminated corners and pathways behind. And in this light, tears flow more readily, which was, does not presume grief or despair, but rather a rooting of seeds thought forgotten or dormant during the long winter and stormy skies urging towards singular slumber. And in this light, a breath can be breathed, a note can be played, a line can be drawn, a smile can form, which does not presume realization or achievement or termination, but rather a rightness in all its simplicity and truth and disorder along the journey. Yeah, that was Jennifer. Give us some more. Oh, yeah.